Hi, this is my first screencast. I'm going to make a donut or ring shape with some highlight tips that hopefully you'll find useful for other projects. A couple of things to notice is in the Inkscape Preferences Filters dialog, I'm using the lowest quality blur setting which helps speed things up on my old computer. In the Document Properties dialog, I set a custom page size to 320 by 320. I always use a page size appropriate to the drawing I'm working on and one of the reasons is tapping the keyboard number 5 key brings my page front and center. There's also a tip at the end of the screencast that helps when exporting an image. And for this screencast I'm going to be using the docked, align and distribute and fill and stroke dialogues instead of wasting time moving them on and off the canvas since they will be used so often. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to select our ellipse tool and make a rough circle. And I'm going to make this circle 300 by 300. And I'm going to center it up on our page. Okay, I'm going to need a duplicate of this object. And there's a couple ways you could do that. You can right click and select duplicate, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Control D. Let me make this a different color so it shows up better. I'm going to make this object 210 by 210 and center it on our page. I'm going to window around both objects and do a path difference. And it gives us our ring shape. I worked it out beforehand that I'm going to need seven duplicates of this object and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control D and tap it seven times okay let's move these out of the way okay I want to bring two rings in window around both center them on our page and I'm going to select the topmost ring and using the keyboard arrow keys I'm going to move this object up. Windowing around both again I'm going to do a path difference and this is going to give us our lower dark highlight. I'm going to turn that full black. Bring a couple more rings in. Same thing, window around both. Line them up. Select the topmost object, and this time I'm going to move it uh, down with the arrow keys. Select them both, and do a path difference. And this is going to give us our, our upper highlight. I'm going to bring another ring in, set it to the center of our page, and I want to set the color for our final output and I'm going to make the hue 28 and the lightness 90 okay I'm going to select our ring shape first and holding down the shift key I'm going to select our upper highlight and relative to first selected I'm going to line them up vertically and align the tops Okay, I can make this white now. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom highlight. Hold the shift key, select the highlight. Line it up vertically, and this time we're going to align the bottoms. Okay, we're going to assume that our lighting source is coming from a 45 degree angle from the upper left. And what I want to do is bring in a couple of guidelines and double clicking on a guideline I want to set it to 160 by 160 and it gives us our center of our page okay what I'm going to do is click once and twice to get our rotate and skew handles and you'll notice we get a cross here here and you click and drag that and I want to have it snap to the center of our page 
and I do the same for the lower highlight okay since I have our lower highlight already selected I'm gonna go and grab this corner handle and while holding down the control key and holding down the control key causes the rotation to snap every 15 degrees which is the default and I'm going to swing it over to approximately 45 degrees and it'll snap to that and I'm going to do the same for our upper highlight click twice hold the control and drag it around okay we don't need the guidelines anymore so you can hold the control key down and click once and it'll disappear selecting our light highlight I'm going to go to the Fill and Stroke dialog and I'm going to set this to 90 opacity and 3 to blur and the dark highlight I'm going to set to 60 opacity and 3 to blur zoom in a little bit and you'll notice our, our blur extends past the ring so we want to get rid of that I'm going to bring another donut shape in, bring this all the way to the top, and go back to page, and center it on our page. I'm going to wind around all these objects, and do an object clip set. And you'll notice that everything that's outside of the ring gets clipped off. Okay, I'm going to bring another ring in, bring it all the way to the top, make it full white, line it up on our page, and this time I'm going to do a path dynamic offset, and you notice our cursor turns to the node tool, and we get this handle, and you click and drag this handle down. And in our fill and stroke dialog, I'm going to make this a 40 opacity and a 3 for blur. Now if you don't like the way uh, it looks, you can always go back in and select a node tool and adjust the offset. That looks pretty good. Okay. Almost there. We got one more ring. And for this, I'm just going to set it all the way to the top. Make it full black. Line it up on our page. And what I'm going to do is use our arrow keys and move it down and to the right an equal number of steps. And I'm going to send it all the way to the back. And in our fill and stroke dialog, I'm going to set the opacity to 60 and the blur to 3. Okay, we got our ring shape with our highlights that give it a 3D look. Now, if you'll notice that if you're going to export, well, first let me do a very important step. I'm going to group all of these objects. Okay, now if you go to export this object, you'll notice that it's it selects selection as an export area, and the bitmap size is 310 by 310. And zooming in a little bit, you'll see that you will chop off a little bit of the blur area, so we want to get we we don't want that. So what we're going to do is go to page and we want to set it to the top of our page and all the way to the left now when we go to export this area this drawing we're going to select page and it's going to everything inside the page will get exported and nothing's going to get chopped off one final thing I'm going to bring in my filters dialog and set it to best quality 
front and center. And there's our ring. That's my screencast. Thanks for watching.